y'all i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm going to show you guys my curly hair routine in this harsh winter weather i'm gonna be honest with y'all doing wash and goes in the winter is really just not it your hair is going to get super dry it's not going to last not even a week probably because your hair is going to get super dry from that cold weather if you live on the east coast you know like i said west coast y'all good but if you live on the east coast yeah wash and go is just not it but I just wanted to do one so bad so I'm gonna show you guys my updated curly hair routine um, featuring my super moisturizing oil that is coming at you guys very soon so stay tuned for that um, if you are not a subscriber and you want to be a subscriber it's really easy just hit the subscribe button that's all you got to do so go ahead and subscribe if you have not already make sure to give this video a thumbs up watch all the way into the end y'all so y'all can see like really it's really a process to keeping it very moisturized in the winter y'all it's it's definitely a process because the winter weather is just so it's so harsh i'm telling y'all my chin looked white i'm sorry y'all but yeah, y'all, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up, watch all the way into the end, and let me know how you like my finished look down in the comments. And let's get started. Okay, y'all, so I'm starting on really, really, really old hair that needs to be washed. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, the longer my hair gets, the less I'm able to wash it because it just takes so long. So this is like three-week-old hair. I'm going in with my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Malfora Oil hair mask and my hair just needed a lot of moisture so i'm just gonna go in separate my hair into two halves and just apply that over my entire head to give my hair and it's really creamy and thick so this is a great mask to give really thick kinky type 4 hair moisture so as i'm applying my hair to the section that i'm working on i'm paying close attention to the ends of my hair because that is the oldest part of your hair. That is the part you want to keep growing and have no breakage so that you retain length. So I'm focusing a lot on the ends of my hair. I'm also, I'm going to apply it to the roots also. I'm going to separate because if you have really thick hair, type 4 hair, we all do. Make sure you're separating your hair and getting in between the, um, and your roots, everything. Because if you don't, it's kind of pointless if you don't get your entire head. As you're doing this and you're raking it through your hair, you're going to get a lot of shedded hair, which is a good thing because you don't want to go into the shower having a lot of shedded hair in your hair as you're washing your hair because that is what causes tangles and knots and having you to cut those out. So the more hair that you finger detangle, excuse me, <laughs> the more hair that you finger detangle out, the better because you don't have to worry about that going into the shower. So once I have that section all done, I'm just going to tie it up, put it away, and just continue to add more to the roots of my hair. Once I'm done on um, both sides of my hair, both sides should be tucked away. Excuse my face mask. I'm going to take it old school and put a bag on my head to really let that moisture get into my scalp and all throughout my hair, honestly, because like I told you, it's been three weeks. It needs any type of moisture it can get. So I'm going to go on top of that bag and put a shirt on my head because I'm really trying to trap all the moisture that I can into my strands. So once I got that shirt on, I got this um, hair dryer off of Amazon. Like it's a little hooded hair dryer. You put the end of it connected to your um, blow dryer. So I'm like, that was really cool and it's convenient instead of having that big old bulky standing hair dryer that it just takes up so much room i really did like it it did work pretty well the only thing is like it's a lot of heat on the middle of your head and after a while it gets like too hot so don't burn your scalp out trying to use that thing so after 15 minutes i'm gonna take that hair dryer off 
and it's gonna be time to get in the shower and rinse out that hair mask. The um, bag and the shirt on top of my head really helped with locking in moisture. I can feel the moisture in my hair already. So after I washed and conditioned my hair, my hair is super clean. It's time to go in with my leave-in conditioner. I'm going to be using my meal pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. Y'all know I use this all the time. Not really because it's my favorite. It's a really good um, leave-in conditioner. It's just there. So, you know, it's really moisturizing. I'm going to go in with my oil that will be available for you to purchase. Check the link down in the description bar. And so, leave-in conditioner, oil, look at that moisture. You can't deny it. So next I'm gonna go in and spray my water throughout my entire section. That is the key to a super defined wash and go is to add a lot, a lot, a lot of water. If you have type four hair, this is the key to getting a super defined wash and go. So once I've added my water, I'm gonna go in with my dimming brush and just begin to detangle my hair because type four hair is easier to rake through your gel if your hair is super detangled and you're not trying to finger detangle the gel through your hair. So I'm gonna be using the Wetline Extreme New Gel and y'all, I really did like this gel. So this is the section that I'm going to be working on. I just further did, um, separated that section that I was detangling. And I'm just going to apply that gel throughout that entire section. And at first, as I was applying it, I'm like, um, I don't like it as much as the old gel. But the more you apply, and as you know, type 4 girls, we have to, we just have to apply more. And that's just what it is. So the more I start applying, I start seeing my curls really pop. At first, I'm like, do I have heat damage? Like, I don't remember using that much heat. But it took a minute, and the curls started to form. And I'm really liking the gel. It's super moisturized, but, you know, that could be for my oil. You know, who really knows? <laughs> but you can find out. Like I said, check the description in the, <laughs> check the link in the description bar. And I'm just going to apply that throughout my entire head, making sure to, I like to like finger my my curls in place. So I, I rake it through my hair and then just begin to finger my my curls. I keep, I keep wanting to say coils. Well, it can be coils too, your curls, your coils. I just like to finger it through to give it more of a defined look. So I'm done with half of my hair and I like to section off the sections that I'm working on with ponytail holders. I use the really thick ones so that way it keeps the hair in place and I'm not smushing down my curls. So I just snap my way to the other side of my hair and all four sections are done. Because I was on a time limit, I put the dryer back on. But like I said, y'all don't use it too much because it does. If it's getting too hot, turn it off. That's all I can say. <laughs> I can't say too much. So if my hair wasn't 100% dry, but I had to um, go somewhere. So I just took my ponytail holders out and let the sections loose. If you, you know, you're not in a time limit, just let them air dry. You don't even have to use the blow dryer. Let them air dry the entire way. But this is how my hair looks after taking out my ponytail holders. I'm going to go in with more oil because that's going to help moisturize my scalp. Because as you know, sometimes the gel can dry your hair out. So I just want to keep it nice and moisturized so them curls last. So I'm just going to shake my curls into place. And after I kind of detangle my hair out, trying to get it more fluffy i'm just gonna go in with my blow dryer blow dry my roots and just kind of flip my hair back and forth and you you know y'all know how we do we just got to get that volume so i'm just going to do that until i get the desired volume that i want 
So after I've gotten my desired volume, I'm just going to lay my edges down however they want to lay. It's never the same every time. And just going to continue fluffing my hair because, you know, volume is the key with a wash and go. Just more volume. As the days go on, it will get you will get more volume naturally. But day one, you definitely want that volume. My curls are super defined from the gel. I can't say anything bad about it, honestly. It has body. It didn't weigh my hair down. It wasn't stiff or anything. It still has volume in my hair, even though I used a lot of gel. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So I hope you guys like that video. If you want to see me do another updated curly hair routine using some different gels. Because y'all, this is literally the only gel I use is wet line. It's the only thing that really defines my kinky curls. My hair doesn't look too kinky, even though it really is kinky. But whatever. It's literally the only gel that defines my curls. So if y'all want to see me do some more wash and goes with different products, just let me know down in the comments. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video.